All right then, so now we're listening to this stream, which is sending us query snapshots from the Firestore database, right? And each query snapshot we know is like a snapshot of the Firestore collection at that moment in time, and it contains documents. And for each document, we can grab the data from that document, right? Now, it would be nice if instead of receiving snapshots from this stream, if we could just receive a list of maybe brute objects. So we don't have to say dot documents and cycle through the documents and then say dot data to get the actual data. We just have a single list of brew objects. So what we could do is we could create our own brew model, much like we created a user model. And then when we receive a query snapshot down the stream, we can convert that into a brew object. And then when we listen to this stream inside our UI widgets, then we just receive the brew objects or the list of brew objects rather than a query snapshot every time, okay? Because then if we have just a list of brew objects, we can easily cycle through those objects and create some kind of template for them and output the data. It just makes things a little bit easier. Now, this is not absolutely necessary. You don't have to do this. I just prefer to do this kind of thing. So let me first of all go to the models folder and create a new file. And this is gonna be called brew dot dart and then inside here we need to make a class so we'll say class brew and then inside this we want to specify what properties we want this brew to have so it's going to have a name which will be a string so final string name it will also have a string which is the sugars so final string sugars and then finally it will have an integer which is the strength so final int strength now we need to create a constructor which is gonna apply values to those properties. So let's say brew, and then in here we'll say this.name, and then this.sugars, and then this.strength. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We've created our brew model now, which should have these properties. So now in our UI widgets, we want to receive a list of brews dependent on the snapshot we get back. So whatever brews are currently in the collection and the list of brews that we want to cycle through in our UI widgets, like the home screen or the brew list rather, are just a list of these objects, okay? So now we need a way to figure out how to convert a query snapshot when we receive it back down the stream into a list of brews. And we're gonna do that inside the database file. This is where we've set the stream up currently. Now, remember when we converted a Firebase user into a user based on our user model, we created a function to do that. We're gonna do exactly the same thing right here. So what we want to get is a brew list, a list of brews from a snapshot. So brew list from snapshot, that's what we want to do. So we're gonna create a function to do this and the return type is gonna be a list and the type of data in this list is gonna be brews. So list brew. Now we need to import this brew model. So let's do that at the top. So import, and then it's gonna be in the models folder and it's gonna be the brew file like so. Okay. And we'll call this underscore brew list from snapshot because that's what we're doing. We're making a brew list from a snapshot object and we've said underscore to make it private. So this is gonna take in a query snapshot. So we'll say query snapshot and call this snapshot. And then inside this, we need to return ultimately a list of brews, right? Now we can get the original data on this snapshot. Remember when we receive a snapshot down the stream that contains all the original data. So we're gonna map through that data. So we'll say return snapshots, or rather snapshot dot documents. Remember, that's how we got the documents in that snapshot. And we did that in the brew list where we cycled through them. So now we're cycling through snapshot dot documents by using the map method. And this maps the documents, the list of documents into another iterable. So each time around, we're gonna perform a function for each document and we'll take in that document. And then inside here, what we'd like to do is return a single brew for that particular document, a single brew object. So we'll say return brew, and then we need to pass in those three properties. Remember, we specified a name, 
sugars and strength. So we need to pass in all of those properties to this object. So first of all, the name is going to be doc, which is this thing we take in every time we fire the function. So the map method is cycling through the list of documents and we refer to each document as doc. And remember, we can get the data on each document by saying doc.data, much like we did over here before. We printed doc.data and that gets us the actual data object. So now we have that by saying doc.data, we want the name property. Now this is essentially a map, right? So in a map, we can access a single property by passing through the property key inside square brackets. So name is what we want for this one. Now, if that doesn't exist, we'll just return an empty string. Okay, so we're just kind of covering ourselves here to make sure it does have a name. If it doesn't, then let's just give it an empty string. So after that, we'll say strength is equal to doc.data and the property is strength. And then we'll return if that's not got a value, zero. And then finally, we need sugars and that's gonna be doc.data and sugars. And this time, if that doesn't exist, we'll return zero, but in a string, because remember, sugars is a string. And we just need to correct this. So let's spell it correctly. All right, so now we're mapping through this list of documents we get back from the snapshot, firing a function for each document inside there, and for each one, we're returning a single brew. So now we're returning a new iterable of several brews, dependent on how many we have in the collection. If there's three objects or documents in the collection, we're gonna return an iterable with three brews in. Now, this returns not a list, but an iterable. So we need to convert it to a list because that's how we're gonna work with it when we output the data in the UI widgets. So to do that, at the end of it, just say to list like so. All right, so we have this function now, brew list from snapshot. So we need to call this every time we get a snapshot down here. So what we could do, like we did with the auth stream, is map this into a new stream. So we say dot map, and then in here, place the function we want to use for each snapshot, which is brew list from snapshot like so. And have we spelled that correctly? Brew list from snapshot. Yes, we have. We get an error because obviously now this is returning brews instead of a snapshot. And in fact, it's not returning a brew, it's returning a list of brews. So let me just copy that and paste it all right in here. And there we go, the error goes away. Okay, so now we have this all set up. So now when we're listening for this data, remember we set up this over here, database service dot brews. We're now listening to a list of brews coming in instead of query snapshots. So we need to change this right here from query snapshot to list and then brew like so. And we need to import brew. So let me do that. I'm gonna say import and it's in the models folder and then forward slash brew dot dart. Okay, and we no longer need cloud Firestore because we're not using the query snapshot anymore. So we can delete that and save it. So now, and don't worry about this error just yet, we'll address that in a second, but now when we're using this stream provider, we're saying, okay, well down this stream now, every time there's a change in the database or when we first load this app, we're gonna receive a list of brews and they're gonna reflect the brews currently in the Firestore collection. So now let me go to brew list where we're trying to access this data and this is the reason we're getting the error at the minute. First of all, we need to take away query snapshot because now we're not listening for that. Instead, we're listening for the list of brews. So let's add that in. We need to also delete the Firestore reference and instead import models and it's the brew file. So we can use that. And now this is obviously all wrong because we don't need brews.documents anymore. So let's get rid of those. And instead, what I'm gonna do is just use a for each method to go through these and print out each one. So I'm gonna say brews.for each. And then for each one, we're gonna fire a function and we take in that brew. And inside the function, all I want to do is say print and then the brew.name and we'll also print brew.sugars, 
and we'll also print brew dot strength. Okay, I hope that's pretty clear what I'm doing. We're now accessing the brews and we're cycling through them. And for each one, we're printing out each of the three properties of that brew. And these are gonna be based on what we currently have in the Firestore database in that brews collection. So let me save this. I'm gonna just refresh over here, open up the terminal, go to debug console. And now we can see we're outputting each of these things right here. Now we have two documents inside the brews collection. So this is one and this is the other. They both have the dummy data at the minute that will be updated later on. So now we've set all this up and now we can listen for this data in these different widgets. In the next video, instead of printing all of this out here, we want to actually show it on the screen over here. So we'll address that in the next video.